Hello everyone, Ari Bluestein here, the CEO and executive producer of the Sports Fan Base Network and welcome to another edition of SFBN Classics. We're going to stick in Suburban 1 and we're going to stick with boys basketball from this past season as part of our National Guard Game of the Week and we are going to go to Warminster, PA as William Tennant High School hosted Council Rock South. Now you watch this game and you think CR South should win this one fairly easily the way it was going, but Tennant just kept coming back and coming back and it ends up coming down to the wire and the crowd, which really grew by uh, the minute, if you will, with this game, really started to uh, uh, get excited towards the end. So this really ended up being a fun game to watch and Chris Markowitz and Jack Cab have the call. Enjoy the game. Good evening and welcome to William Tennant High School. Chris Markowitz alongside Jack Cap here for the Sports Fan Base Network. And Cap, it's a big one as these two teams ranked 20 and 21 respectively in the PIAA 6A classification for boys basketball. Council Rock South ranked 20th, William Tennant 21st. The top 24 teams in the conference get in, so this is a big game with playoff implications for both teams. Yeah, and also being the fact that it is the penultimate game of the year, the next to last game of the year. There's only one left for each team. Tennant plays Truman on 2-6. That's two days from now. And remaining for CR South is the matchup against their brothers, CRN, Council Rock North. Starting lineups first for Council Rock South. Number zero, Jack Reebholtz, a senior guard. Number three, Luca Barada. Number five, Luke Meekin. Number 11, Michael Stewart. And rounding out the starting lineup, number 12, Kevin McNamee, a senior forward. Head coach in his second season is Chris Clark. He's assisted by Skip Mason, John Mason, Mike Stock, and Kyle Meekum. Castle Rock South comes in with a 12 and 7 record, 6 and 4 in the Suburban 1 National Conference, which is second in the conference. And then the lineup for the home team, William Tennant High School, number 10, Jay Stanfield, and a junior guard, excuse me, number 12, Dalton Zeman, a senior, averaging 5.3 points per game. Number 20, Sean Hall is a three point shooting senior who's averaging just under nine points per contest. Number 23, Michael Scheller, a junior guard. And rounding out the starting lineup is number 25, Derek Consenza, a 6'4 forward, averaging 14 and a half points per game. The head coach for William Tennant is Robert Mulville, and he's assisted by Paul Veltre, Ray. Horn, Eric Reynolds, John Stanfield, and Mike Wasserlben. And we'll take a quick audio break, Cap, as we touched on in the open. A big regular season game for both William Tennant and Council Rock South. Council Rock South, 20 in the PIAA, 6A for boys basketball. William Tennant, 21. The top 24 teams make the state playoffs, so a lot on the line for both squads. Yeah, this is really important, I mean, for these teams because – Moving up a spot or two it really makes a difference, and it determines on who you end up playing in that first round. If you're in the 24th spot, you're playing number one, and that's a tough way to go. So every little spot that you move up, you're playing a team that is at the top but a little bit lower from the top. And, of course, both these teams, you know, realistically are in the playoff, but there's no guarantees when you're down at 20, that's 21. True. So you need to yeah. win as many games towards the tail end as possible. This should be a battle. Tennant dressed in white. They'll be traveling left to right on your screen as they win the tip. Council Rock South dressed in navy blue going right to left. The head referee today is Donnie Schaefer. He's actually ref 40-some years, longer than I did it. A great official. And a steal on the opening possession. Reebholds to the lane gets the kind roll. Jack Reebholds with the opening score. Nice steal and a very quick route to the basket. The other two officials are Nate Alcott and Mark Rotkin. And from what I understand, Jack, Cap, you and uh, Danny were partners for a while here in the PIAA. Um, Donnie? Or, yeah. Excuse me, Donnie. Yeah, that's why I didn't respond. Yeah, <laughs> I've it. known him. That's on me. He's, act, he's actually, like I said, ref a long, long time. He's very, very respected. Here's a replay of that steal and coming down with the left hand and just executed perfectly there. A 2-0 lead for Council Rock South. Zeman in the lane, he kicks. That's Jay Stanfield. Up top, Sean Haas. 
a three-point marksman. Shooting 42% from distance that's, this season. That's good in any league. Scheller kicks. Haas on cue. And he drops it just as you predicted. Sean Haas, the lanky senior perimeter player, drills a three ball to give William Tennant a 3-2 lead with 6.45 to go in the first quarter. Going the other and way. Offensive foul. Fouls on Michael Stewart. His first, team's first. Oh, excuse me. It's a defensive foul. Oh, I thought it was going the other way. He looked too, for yeah. a second there yeah. as offensive, but. So we'll stay here. Now another whistle is called. And it's a foul on Jay Stanfield. I, I missed who the first foul was on, but. We'll try to pick that up. Well, that's the first on Stanfield. Okay. Stewart kicks. The other one might have been Dalton Zeman. Good defense on this trip by Tennant. Up top now, that's Meekum. To Barada. Motion offense for Council Rock South, but no open lanes. Barada swatted away. Yeah, uh, a nice block shot, but at the same time, he took a little route to the basket. Might have gotten an extra step, not sure on that. Luca Barada, six foot two junior, aggressive move to the hoop. Derek Consenzo with the rejection. Consenzo, the leading scorer in just his senior, excuse me, junior year, as a layup is good. A high off the glass for Reeves. He has all four to open the game for Council Rock South. Now he took some contact there, but it was straight up and down, so no foul was called accurately. Not called, that is. 2-3 zone defense on the other end from Council Rock South, holding on to a 4-3 lead. Consenza kicks, Haas to the baseline. Layup falls. And that was a very nice use of the body there to get that layup. That's Michael Scheller with the yep. finish. Scheller protecting the ball with his body and a nice soft layup a at the end of that. It's a 5-4 lead for William Tennant. Stewart on the drive, he kicks. Corner three, pure. That was pure. Luke, Luke Meekham hits it from the corner. Yeah, Luke Meekham just loaded that up. A high arcing shot from the corner. Had a second or two to uh, line it up there. There's a steal. Meekum fouled, he'll go to the line. Yeah, that fouls either on 25 or 10. We're gonna see what the referee calls here. 25. Yeah, they get Consenza with Consenza. the foul. His first, team's third. And here's another look at the steal. Another clean steal. And there's the contact right there. Yep, accurately called. Sub onto the floor for William Tennant. It's Josiah Johnson. He comes in to replace number 23, Michael Scheller. Josiah is a 5'11 senior, averaging 11 a game. Yeah, the second leading scorer for William Tennant comes in off the bench. He's also a player in wearing jersey number five, who I do not have on my roster. He's not on my roster so either. So we'll have to check at halftime. He's what we call the mystery <laughs> guest. <laughs> the floater, Haas for the corner three. No good. The mystery player. Three holes on the other end. Bumped, no foul call. On the low block. McNamee gets the kind roll. Nice soft hook there by McNamee. Lead up to five for Council Rock South. Consenza kicks. That's Johnson. Not many holes against the 2-3 zone defense so far. It's a very active defense for the Golden Hawks. Moving well as the ball moves. The entire team reacts. Consenza too strong on the floater. Reeve holds through two. Oh, yeah. Put too much on the layup, but the ball is deflected out by Tennant, so we'll stay on this side of the floor. He bravely busted through two guys and nearly 
put that in. Very assertive move on his part. Bryce Lockett into the game for William Tennant to replace Jay Stanfeld. Entry pass and the oh, layup's good. That was Kevin pretty. McNamee, I don't think he even looked at the hoop. That was very, very soft and very skillful. Jump Tenet ball. Tennant has it ripped on the other end. McNamee misses the point blank layup. Seven point lead for Council Rock South. Tenant without a basket in the last three plus minutes of action. Johnson kicks. There's Haas. Back to Johnson. Haas. Short on the triple. Looked good when he released it. Just short on that. Reeve holds. Oh, wow. Got it to fall. Whoa. That's Jack impressive. <laughs> Jack Reeve holds with six wow. points to lead all scorers. Boy, that was a, just an excellently executed jump stop. Great body control. Layup's good on the other end. An easy look for Lockett. Lockett with his first basket. Averages 8.6 points per game. Reeve holds around a screen. Up top, there's McNamee. Tries a handoff. Out of play, deflected off Stewart. Great defense by our floating jersey, number five. Number five did very well in that. We will try to get his name. And uh, it was also a great effort by referee Nate Alcott to get out of the way of that and to know who the ball went off. That's not easy to do. He looked like a hockey official, like one of those uh, ice hockey officials jumping out of the way. Jay Stanfield back onto the floor for William Tennant oh, as yeah. Johnson lays it in. Wow, that was, a, that was a great shake and bake there. Josiah Johnson. 5'11", senior, averages 11 coming off the bench with his first basket. Lead for Council Rock South, down to five. They've led by as many as nine. On the drive, Meekum. That was a great head fake by Meekum. We're seeing some really good ball here. Council Rock South attacking early and often as this pass off the foot of Josiah Johnson and out of bounds. It hit right on our booth here. Didn't damage anything. A buck 46 to go in the opening quarter. Council Rock South has had control of the ball game so far as Joe Purcell checks in to replace Kevin McNamee. Joe Purcell. I know a guy by that name who played ball with me for about 40 years. It could be his grandson. Open three, way off the mark. That can yeah. be too strong, but the rebound goes to Council Rock South. Second three-pointer, no good by Barata. Another board on this side of the floor, but ripped away by Consenza, and he draws a foul. And the foul is on Joe Purcell, his first. Hmm. Team's first as well with a minute 22 to go in the first quarter. Back and forth action to start this one. It's been a good pace in the first quarter of the ball game. Scheller up top to Johnson. He kicks to the corner. Stanfeld tried to feed the post, but his pass is stolen. Nice steal. Stewart oh, with the tough man. angle goes to the line. Yeah, Michael Stewart really contorted his body and put himself in jeopardy there. Was able to get the foul and almost got the basket. Michael Stewart, the second leading scorer for Council Rock South this season, averaging 12 and a half points per game. He's got a nice touch from distance, and he credits YouTube for his shot improvement, Cav, he says well, that's interesting. That he says he's watched a lot of videos on how to improve his form over the last couple of years, and it's been a big help for him improving his jump shot form this season. Interestingly enough, do you know who else learned how to shoot on YouTube? I do not. That would be Joe L. Embiid. Did he really? Or so he claims. You never know what to believe because <laughs> he's so entertaining. You think he his... could show Ben Simmons YouTube? Here's what he said. <laughs> he says when he was just learning basketball, he went on. Yeah, <laughs> he went on YouTube and and watched all the great white guards shoot. 
That's what he said. Really? That's what he said. Like Stockton and Nash. That's all those exactly guys. who he mentioned, in fact. Really? Stockton was one of the guys well, he you know, mentioned. Yeah. I, I mentioned yeah. YouTube, though, in general, and I was having That's this funny. conversation yeah. with some basketball players, Cap. Yeah. In this generation, you guys are so you lucky. You have so much, there's just so, so much information lucky. about how to play the game that didn't exist before. Uh, I mean, in the 70s, guys couldn't dribble behind their back. It just wasn't, yeah. it wasn't heard of at that point. You know, yet. What I, you know what I call the cell phone? The sum of human knowledge in the size of a, a wafer. Right. <laughs> a graham cracker. That's what it looks like. Right. It's the sum of human knowledge. Yeah. It's incredible. Your, your generation is very lucky. You really are. You don't have to go to the library. <laughs> Could you imagine what Kobe Bryant would have done if he had a cell phone in his pocket to show him how to play ball? I mean, he was good, he was good he as he, it was, he but come on. Yeah, he didn't need much. <laughs> he, he had major pedigree. Both sides of his family and uh, exceeded everybody else in his family. Stewart kicks uh, out. Obviously. Nice save. Meekum kicks for the three, and it's good. Nice spin move by Meekum, and off to his teammate. Barada, Luca right. Barada drills it from deep. Lead up to 10 for Council Rock South, largest of the ball game. Yeah, real big first quarter for the Golden Hawks. William Tennant with the ball. They can hold for the final shot. Eight seconds on the clock here. Now they'll go. Four to shoot. Consenza with one on the clock. Ooh, I thought he had it. It was straight on but fell short. And at the end of one, William Tennant trails Council Rock South, 19 to nine. One more look at that spin and dish. Yeah, that was beautiful. Boy, there's, there's been a lot of nice plays down at this Golden Hawk end. The Golden Hawks out of Holland, Pennsylvania. 10 point lead for Council Rock South. We'll take a break. You're watching high school basketball here on the Sports Fan Base Network. It was a good pace in the first quarter of this game featuring the Golden Hawks out of Holland, Pennsylvania from CR South and the Panthers out of William Tennant in uh, Warminster, PA. Both teams vying for a spot in the district playoffs. Pretty evenly matched and a back and forth first quarter. Uh, CRS, Council Rock South, uh, coming away with a 10-point lead after the first 19-9. to nine. Uh, Really nice... Uh, uh, defense by Council Rock going to a 2-3 after starting in a, a man, but quickly changing into the zone, an effective zone, that is also uh, yielding five turnovers and um, some really nice work there by the guards, uh, Jack Reboltz and Luke Meekum uh, with some steals, some quick steals early on, yielding some baskets and a, a really the play of the uh, first quarter was a beautiful left-handed hook by Kevin McKee, McNamee, I'm sorry, McNamee, a six foot five forward center for Council Rock South. So we stand at 19 to nine after the first quarter and looking for a, uh, an interesting second quarter as was the first. See you then. Hi, I'm Tommy Green, former pitcher for the Philadelphia Phillies. When I was in high school, it was very important to me to show scouts what I could do. My friends at Payroll Service Solutions are huge supporters of high school sports and the sports fan base network. If you're a small to medium sized business in need of a payroll company, contact Payroll Service Solutions. Not only will they take care of you, they will continue to support the community. For more information, contact Payroll Service Solutions at 215-624-0922. Or Second quarter action at William Tennant High School. Chris Markowitz alongside Jack Cap here for the Sports Fan Base and Network. As Cap is, you can see him on the top left of your screen now, he's out of the picture, hustling to get us that jersey number five for William Tennant. So he'll join me in just a second. 
It's a nine, excuse me, 10 point lead for Council Rock South. They dominated the first quarter of action. As this layup on the baseline is blocked by Consenza. Rebound goes to Reeves, who pulls up his shot off glass. No good. McNamee with the putback can't get the roll. A couple unlucky bounces there for Council Rock South. William Tennant takes over. Consenza through two. Gets the kind roll as my friend Jack Cap hustles back into the booth. Cap, thanks for hustling over there. No problem. Number 33, Brett Hansons is wearing number five today. As we have another, so he was the missing player. As that's another look at the Consenza layup, but good to know. So yep. Hansons, Brett Hansons, the senior wearing jersey number five today. And that information comes from John Creighton. Athletic director. Yeah, he had a word with you about a, a technical call from a couple <laughs> well, years ago. Well, I could Cap. explain it, but it would, it would take a minute or two. Listen, I, I, yeah. we got to give him, you know, his yeah. fair share too. You know, he what I mean? was a uh, head coach many, well, not that long ago, actually, at Washington High School, George Washington High School. Very good basketball coach, by the way. He told me he went to Northeast as well a couple years before Ari Bluestein. Right. That's right. As Consenza floats it in, layups on back-to-back -back trips. Yeah, he was a, a, he's a little bit older. And now a timeout taken. We'll keep it here. Chris Markowitz alongside Jack Cap. John Creighton comes from a long line of Creightons that are involved in athletics. The, his mother and his father. His father was the um, athletic director at Frankfurt High School many years. Here's a replay on the Casenza move, I believe. Yes. And look at how they move Soft. it against the 2-3 zone. They yeah. find the low entry pass to Scheller on the baseline. That and, opens it up for Consenza. And it opens it up for a guy who has the position and the comfortability with that little soft shot there. Great replay by our director, Josh Bellman. Slow-mo. Yeah, we got a great crew here today. Chris Markowitz alongside Jack Cap, Josh Bellman, our director, and Tenzin Sanfell on camera here for the Sports Fan Base Network. 6.23 remaining in the second quarter. Council Rock South ahead by six, but William Tennant with the first two baskets in the second quarter. And now another steal by William Tennant. That was the story in the first quarter for Council Rock South. They forced a lot of turnovers and yeah. scored in transition. Now a no, they're still in the zone. Okay, I thought they had gone to a new defense, but. Wait a minute. No, no, it is. It's a man-to-man. -man. Had it right. As the pass travels out of play, Zeman and Haas couldn't communicate there. And I think the switch of the defense, as you mentioned, yeah. had them slightly confused. It definitely takes an adjustment, and uh, you want to recognize the defense. First thing you do when you come down court is recognize the defense. 2-3 defense for Tenet now against Council Rock. McNamee. No, I and now they go straight man as Consenza tips yeah. the entry pass. Scheller up top. Scheller swings to Haas. Corner three, pure. Ooh, yeah. Dalton Zeman from distance cuts Dalton. the lead to three. Dalton loaded that one up deep in the corner. He averages five a game, he's a senior. That looked really nice. Yeah, this is a, this is a, uh, it's a man. Three-pointer rattles home for Joe Purcell. It's the first basket of the second quarter for Council Rock South. And his first basket, I believe. Stanfeld can't answer. A little too strong on the three-pointer. Again, it looked good when he released it. Into the lane, that's a block. Reeves had it rejected, but it's off of the hand of Sean Haas, so we'll stay on this end of the floor. As Reeves goes to the bench, replaced by Luke Meekham. I'll tell you one thing about Reeves or Reeves, is it? I'm not sure, but either way, he is intrepid going to the hoop. Fearless. Back to me, baseline jumper is short. Stanfeld, kicks. Here he goes again. Zeman, got them all. 
Zeman again with just about the same shot from the same location. Left-handed shot off his shoulder. Great rhythm in the shot. Crowds into it here at William Tennant. They cut the 10-point first quarter lead of Council Rock South down to three. Yeah, both, both teams in the man-to-man, -man, just to clarify at this point. McNamee to the baseline. Back up top, pass deflected. It's a dangerous pass. Close to a backcourt, but there was a deflection. It could have been a backcourt. Purcell Possibly. kicks. Barada got them all. These two teams trading triples. It's turning into a very exciting game, as we predicted. I know All-Star Weekend's coming up in the NBA. It's like a three-point contest here yeah. at William Tennant right now. Yes, it is. But they're doing it nicely in the flow of the game, setting up those three-point shots. Very high percentage for both teams. Zeman! There he goes. Can't get the roll. Would have been three straight trips. Board to Tennant. Hoss inside. Consenza. Back to the zone, by the way. Stanfeld up top to Zeman with 2.48 to go in the quarter. Baseline jumper too strong for Hoss. On the other end, Stewart has it stripped. Two thirty to go in the half. It's a six-point lead for Council Rock South. Zeman, step back, mm. misses. He's a confident shooter. He's just slightly off on those last two. McNamee with the reverse can't get it to fall. Consenza leading the break. Now he kicks. Ball loose on the baseline. Up top, Consenza, baseline jumper, rattles home. Yeah, Consenza had a moment alone there and loaded it up and put it right in. Nice shot by Derek Consenza, six foot four junior. And before that, led the break. Yeah, he the took the rebound. Big man in transition. Took the rebound and went all the way down court before giving it up. A buck 43 to go in the second quarter. Barada up top, swings to Meekum. McNamee from 17, all net. So far, this has been a very, very close match. Six points separate these two teams, but we've seen some really nice, exciting plays. Hoss against the zone. Hoss left open. Can't get the roll. That's three threes in a row that just missed, or this would be a much different score. 60 seconds remaining in the half. Council Rock South ahead by six. They can hold for the final shot here. Near steal. 45 remaining in the half. It looks like Tennant's in a 2-1-2. Two, two. They're not, and then out comes the pressure, just as I, I was gonna say they weren't pressing, but. Well, it's the four corner offense. A little ode to Dean Smith in that now, old school Carolina era. Now a, a matchup, pick, the men are picked up man to man. Meekum kicks, that's Barada. 18 on the clock. Meekum to Barada. McNamee with 10 on the clock. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a foul on number 10. Uh, it looks like Jay Stanfeld shoved off on the screen. I believe it's his second foul. Good pick up there by that official, Mark Rotkin, right on that. You cannot do that to get rid of the uh, screen. Subs cannot shove off. Subs on the floor, Josiah Johnson into the game to replace Stanfeld for William Tennant as Jack Reb holds onto the floor to replace Joe Purcell for Council Rock South. Six seconds to shoot. Stewart, Purcell, short to shoot. That was Barada, no good from distance, and that takes us to the half. Council Rock South up by six. 
Jack Happ, your final thoughts on the first half of play. Well, it was a fun, fun first half to watch. These are two very evenly matched teams with a lot of athletic players. We saw some really tight plays, especially down at the uh, at the Council Rock South end, but also on the William Tennant end, and some great shooting for the home team. Just missed, as I mentioned a few minutes ago, on several threes that would have certainly had a uh, different score up there. It's a fun one here at William Tennant High School. Back and forth action with excellent pace. We'll take a break when we come back. Second half action here on the Sports Fan Base Network. A similar pace uh, in the second quarter in regard to uh, what it looked like in the first quarter with uh, William Tennant, the home team, picking up four points down by 10 after one, and now at halftime down by only four. Dalton Zeman looking very sharp, hitting two smooth three-pointers in the flow of the action uh, against that zone and nearly hitting two others, just missing on two others. Um, Council Rock South going from that zone into a brief man-to-man, -man, and then back to the zone at the three-minute mark. Uh, so it looks like they're going to be comfortable in that zone. They held the ball in the last minute, almost a full minute of action at the end there. Interestingly enough, the uh, National Federation of High School uh, Sports just turned down a rule change, which would have instituted a 35-second clock in the high school game. In high school, uh, there is no shot clock. So the, it's the only basketball where the ball can be held for as long as the team is able to do that. And that will uh, continue through next year at least. Actually, it's a two-year period for rule changes in the uh, National Federation, of which PIAA is a part. Now, PIAA is allowed to institute a shot clock but then they lose certain privileges with the National Fed. So Robert Lombardi, who is the director of the executive director of the PIAA, uh, will not do that. There will be no shot clock. And you'll see more situations like this in the future, just as we've seen it in the past where the ball can be held. We'll see you after the third quarter. This is Jack Cap. Talk to you soon. Hi, I'm Tommy Green, former pitcher for the Philadelphia Phillies. When I was in high school, it was very important to me to show scouts what I could do. My friends at Payroll Service Solutions are huge supporters of high school sports and the sports fan base network. If you're a small to medium sized business in need of a payroll company, contact Payroll Service Solutions. Not only will they take care of you, they will continue to support the community. For more information, contact Payroll Service Solutions at 215 624 0922. Markowitz alongside Jack Cap here for the Sports Fan Base Network with our producer Josh Bellman and our cameraman Tinzen Samfell. And it was a back and forth first half. Yeah. 
uh, Castle Rock South with a six point lead, but William Tennant with a balanced scoring effort led by Derek Consenza able to fight back into it to the tail end of the half. Yeah, he's got six and also Dalton Zeman has six for the Panthers and on the other side the Golden Hawks have four players with six, I believe. Jack Rebholtz, uh, Luca Barada, Luke Meekum, and uh, let's see, uh, McNamee has six also. So four players with six and um, it's been an exciting game with a lot of talent shown on the court. Fun game so far. Would you like the uh, fun fact of the day about I, William Tennant High I was School? just about to ask, Cav. What, okay. what is it? Well, and old timers would remember this. Uh, I'm sure our old referee would remember this. Uh, the head coach in the 80s and 90s here was a gentleman named Cecil Mosenson, and his claim to fame is he coached Will Chamberlain in high school. Wow. And then coached at William Tennant. Wow. <laughs> no. It was kind of cool to see him. I mean, <laughs> he was an old man when he was here. But when he coached Wilde, he was only 25. Wow. Caught yeah. him at the right time. Yeah. Well, that's Jack Capp's fact of the day. Yeah. Brought to you daily by the Sports Fan Base Network. Right. If you look at the old pictures of Wilt playing with the coach, the coach looks like one of the players. He was in his 20s and had a baby face. Tenant with the ball to start the half against a 2-3 zone defense. And a early steal for Council Rock South. Oh, he's tough. Layup is partially boxed, blocked for Rebholds, but the follow falls for Barada. Yeah, real nice follow by Barada there. The right place, the right time. Rebholds with three steals tonight. And, and nearly four. They've been going after the ball. Yeah, in the first quarter. South opening South, up in that 2-3. South in that first quarter in that 2-3 forced a lot of turnovers and fast break opportunities against Tennant. Hoss guarded tightly, back up top. Johnson, who starts the second half after coming off the bench in the first quarter. Now inside, Hoss back up top. Good ball movement here by Tennant, but no lane. There's another steal. Meekum with the strip. Rev holes blocked again, this time by Hoss. We'll yeah, stay here. He didn't, he didn't sense Hoss. He thought he was fouled there, but he, he did not sense Hoss coming from the back side there. He thought he had that easy layup. Josiah Johnson to the bench, replaced by Dalton Zeman for William Tennant, with 6.49 to play in the third quarter. Three-pointer mm. around the rim and out for Barada. Something about that rim down there has been eating up those three-pointers. Consenza kicks up top, that's Stanfeld. And you're right, Jack Cap. we saw in the first half, Tennant yeah. have four or five looks that rattle around that rim and that's came right. over the lip. That's right. Hoss now, guarded tightly, up top to Stanfeld. Nowhere to go against the zone defense of the Panthers. Consenza, up top. 6.08 to go in the third quarter. Hoss, left open, strong. Hoss hit his first look from distance, but since then has missed his last three. I don't think we've seen the last of his shooting ability. Meekum off the fake. Got it. That's a great head fake by Meekum, and he just calmly puts it in his second three of the day. He's got nine, and it's an 11-point lead. Meekum pouting as he crosses the timeline, making some faces to show off after that shot as the answer no good from Stanfeld. Rebold strip, but a late foul call on Zeman. I think Zeman got him on both wrists. It was a very, very tough steal there. Might have clipped the wrists. We're a distance away. We might get a replay on that. A little bit down the road here. Well, I think what especially what had the crowd groaning was how late the call was as this following jumper falls for McNamee. It's one of those, Cap, where whether or not it's the right call, it was a late call. So, you know, that's going to get the groan from the yeah, crowd. Yeah, that doesn't mean it's wrong. Well, of course. It, 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 it quite often is the correct call. Hey, I'd rather they make the call, regardless of whether or not it's late, as we have a foul yeah. on the other end. Here's another look at this strip. Let's take a close look at the hands. No, he got the ball. Yeah, that's clean. He got the ball. From here, anyway, from what we're seeing in our replay booth and what you are seeing at home or wherever you are. We're being uh, seen in California. I know that by several individuals. 
So maybe they're laying on the beach in California. Who knows? Yeah, Watching can, us. Well, if you're listening in California, here's another look at that corner three ball from Meekum. Bang. With a defender right there. Great. Beautiful pump fake to set it up. Great fake. But if we've got any listeners out in California, please send us through the mail some in and out Burger if you can. And, and some email. You can send <laughs> us little comments on the website, I think, right? Yeah, I would, I've never had an in and out of burger, so I don't, I don't know what it tastes you know what? like. I'm going to make a lot of people upset, but I think it's uh, a little overrated, if you ask Ooh, me. Oh, overrated. I'm, I'm going to go with that, yeah. Like a lot of things in California. <laughs> well, Woo. I don't know if I'll go that far. <laughs> he hit one out of two there. Yeah, that was Scheller from the line. It's a 12-point lead for Council Rock South with 4.56 to go in the third quarter. Mm. Rev holds, kicks. Barada, strong. The ball loose, fight for it. And a whistle for it out of play. Yeah, it looks like Rebholtz uh, was on the line when his hand was in contact with the ball, and therefore he is considered out of bounds. I thought it was going to be a jump ball for a split second there. Tenant down 12. Mm, almost an illegal screen there. Haas, back over to Zeman. You cannot bend over and throw a block when you are setting a screen. That's why I was, what I was referring to there. Pass to the corner is deflected out by now, Stewart. What you see in the NBA is not. I was just going to say. Legit I was in just going to say, Cap, you can't do that unless you're in the NBA. Unless your name is, uh, you know, Embiid or one of those guys. Because let me tell you, some of those screens they set are vicious. Some of those big high picks out there. Josiah Johnson back out onto the floor alongside Bryce Lockett for William Tennant as Joe Purcell checks in for Council Rock South. Tennant with the ball, down 12. Johnson thought about the triple. South in that very, very active, movable, mobile zone, I should say. Hansons kicks up top. Johnson, corner three, short. Yeah, he should have followed his shot. He thought he had it there. He thought he was Jerry West running down court after the shot. Got to follow that shot in. Jerry West, the logo. The logo used to shoot, and he was 20 feet down court before the ball went in. That's how sure of himself he was. The original oh, Mr. Man. Clutch is the layup. No good for Stewart. That's right, the original Mr. Clutch. Purcell on the pull-up. Strong. Strong rebound there, too. Johnson. Johnson. Yeah. Feeds Consenza. Oh, I love that move. Nice finger roll to finish. Yeah, Consenza went around. The defender was McNamee and uh, was trying to take the charge, and Consenza sensed it and went around him. Great move. Up top, McNeem in. Luke Meekum, excuse Meekum me. Meekum with the three, his third three of the day. Meekum is showing off the shots from long distance. On the other end, Consenza. Now up top, Stanfeld. Guarded tightly. Great pass. What a feed to the wide open Bryce Lockett. Just a beautiful look on a rope. Perfect pass. I love, I love seeing that. Jay Stanfeld fired one in to the baseline to yep. cut the lead down to 11. Watch this guy. As Johnson hustles right towards our booth. Whoa, he just stopped short of director of the year, Josh Bellman. Here it is. Well, Watch this. Boom, right off the dribble. And that's how you do it, folks. Beautiful pass. Anybody who wants to learn how to throw a brilliant pass, there it was. Barada back out onto the floor for Council Rock South. Haas back into the game for Tennant with 2.19 to play in the third quarter. Council Rock South up by 11 and in no hurry to shoot. Hands up. Keep those hands up. Meekum blocked. Yeah. Not a good choice there by Meekum. Just too many defenders there. Haas and Consenza both standing 6-4. Nowhere for him to get the shot off yeah, against was, the trees. Right, he was in with the trees in the forest. Hansen's in the corner, feeds Consenza. Pull up. Oh, that's got to be a foul. Over yep. the back. Easy on call Lockett. there, easy call. Oh, they don't get Lockett, excuse me. It's Beretta. 
right? Get Barada, yeah. Yep, Barada, I'm sorry, Barada. Barada with the foul there. His first, I believe. Barada's got eight points. And Derek sends it to trigger. Stewart back into the game to replace McNamee with a minute 41 remaining here in the third quarter. Yeah, the Panthers really need to step up the offense here. They need to dial it up. There's another great pass. Good to ball the corner, movement. Hansons, double teams. Johnson resets. Lockett, too strong on the hook. Yeah, Lockett is sneaking around there on the baseline. He's received several nice feeds in there. Great passing technique, a very underrated part of basketball, but it's so important. Ball movement, the team with the better ball movement generally wins the game. Castle Rock South holding on to the ball with 52 seconds remaining in the third. Now a nice drive and a smooth finish by Barada at the rack. Yeah, Barada did it right that time. He went to the reverse side and laid it in. Luca Barada puts Council Rock South up 13. Haas, deep three. He hit that from the parking lot. Yes, he did, and it was a shot that the Panthers really needed to get within 10. They need a stop here and a basket to hands open up, the fourth quarter up, with a eight point or a seven point uh, deficit. 16 on the clock. Seven to shoot. Reb holds get to up, the corner. Up. Purcell, short. And that will take us to the fourth. Council Rock South ahead 10, but William Tennant with some momentum. As here's another look at that nice take to the rack by Barada. Yeah, it went underneath, and it's, it's almost like a uh, little bit of a hook, a bank hook shot. He had a lot of travel while he was in the air. In other words, he was staying in the air a long time. Very athletic move. We'll take a break. Coming up next, fourth quarter action here on the Sports Fan Base Network. Not a lot of scoring in that uh, third quarter. 12 for Council Rock South and 8 for William Tennant. I guess about the same as it's been in the uh, first half. CRS stayed in their 2-3 zone, and uh, William Tennant played a man most of that quarter. Rebholtz or Rebholtz, we kept mispronouncing his name. We're still not sure. A lot of times when you do these broadcasts, you know, it's hard to get the pronunciation of the names. And uh, there's two or three players where I think we might have been saying them wrong. McNamee, Rebholtz, House or Hoss. We're not really sure. But guys, if we mispronounce your names, we are sorry about that. I'll go with Rebholtz gets his third steal of that quarter. The um, turnovers have slowed down. Uh, total turnovers for William Tennant are eight at this point. And for CRS, just four. Uh, I saw early in that quarter, Michael Scheller of William Tennant, number 23, floating along the baseline. He was not getting the ball. And that zone was very high. That 2-3 zone kept coming out towards the, uh, towards the foul line. So I'm not sure why Michael Scheller isn't getting the ball. Maybe he doesn't have a lot of ability there. We're not sure. But uh, he sure looked open to me. Uh, great patience by Council Rock South Meekum on that fake in the on the uh, three pointer from the baseline uh, put CRS up by 11. Uh, Casenza 
of William Tennant got them to within 10 with a nice penetration move and a layup. That was a real smooth move. And then Meekham answered right back for Council Rock South with a three, and they were up 37-24. So maintaining that nice lead right now in that part of the quarter were the uh, Golden Hawks. Best pass of the day was Jay Stanfeld, who fired a rope to sub Bryce Lockett along the baseline and got that quick layup. Uh, it looked like CRS was going to hold again for that last minute, as we saw and we talked about at the end of the uh, second quarter. But at the end of this quarter, they had the ball with about a minute left, looked like they were going to hold it. And then all of a sudden, Luca Barada saw a seam and busted through for a beautiful rever reverse layup. And that uh, brought the lead up to 13. Uh, and it ended up with a 10 point lead, 39 to 29 at the end of this quarter. So that's what happened in the third quarter. We'll uh, be back in the uh, fourth quarter for further analysis. Hi, I'm Tommy Green, former pitcher for the Philadelphia Phillies. When I was in high school, it was very important to me to show scouts what I could do. My friends at Payroll Service Solutions are huge supporters of high school sports and the sports fan base network. If you're a small to medium sized business in need of a payroll company, contact Payroll Service Solutions. Not only will they take care of you, they will continue to support the community. For more information, contact Payroll Service Solutions at 215-624-0922 or... Council Rock South with the basketball, ahead by 10 as we enter the fourth quarter. Chris Markowitz alongside Jack Kaff. Council Rock South, the number 20 ranked team in the PIAA 6A classification. William Tennant 21st and Cap this game with big playoff ramifications for both teams as the shot on the baseline from McNamee is blocked. Yeah, that was a tough miss there. Could have been an easy two points. Haas double teamed. He hit a deep three pointer at the tail end of the third quarter. Ball on the baseline is out of play. Scheller couldn't save it and slaps the back wall in frustration. Yeah, Scheller was in a tough spot there and just couldn't quite get his handle on the ball. Council Rock South has been able to move the ball well against William Tennant's defense and take a lot of time off the clock in both the second and third quarter. And I think they're going to do it again in this quarter. They're going to try. Stewart with a lot of pressure on the pass, but he's able to get it up top. Now he posts Zeman up. Goes into the lane. Good pass on the baseline to a wide open McNamee. Zeman wanted the charge call, didn't get it. Yeah, and uh, that was a nice pass. There was a, a definite, uh, uh, it was Zeman went down on the ground. Stanfeld to Haas. Gets it back with 6.42 to go in the fourth. Zeman got them all. Oh, Zeman is a very fine shooter. Third three, and he easily could have had a couple of more nine points. Dalton Zeman cuts Council Rock South's lead to single digits, but McNamee with the instant answer. McNamee inside again and very smoothly to the hoop off the glass. That lead is at 11. And now a near steal, but it goes into the hands of Scheller, who lays it in for two. Scheller's second basket of the game. He's got three for the half. Lead at nine. And South in no hurry. Six minutes remaining in regulation. Purcell to McNamee. This time no good. What a job there by Stanfeld to reestablish on the baseline. Now he spins. Wow. And the foul. That's the play of the game right there. Jay Stanfeld coast to coast. Kept his feet in on the baseline on the other end of the floor. Took it from one side of the court to the next and spins into the lane for the foul and the old fashioned three point play. We used to run a uh, play of the game. It was sponsored by somebody. If we still had it, that's your play of the game, folks. Right there, a blind spin and shot while he was being fouled, beautifully done. Well, we have the Jack Cap back of the game. Why yeah, we don't we call that. it the Jack Cap play of the game? Well, I'll Why sponsor. Not? I'll yeah, sponsor. you sponsor. You shell out the cash for this Captured one. Moments Photographic will sponsor it. <laughs> and now a timeout on the floor taken by Council Rock South as Tennant has cut the lead down to six with 5.41 remaining in regulation. 
Council Rock South, Golden Hawks with the ball. Tennant trying to force a turnover. They've trailed by as many as 13 in the second half. Purcell, double teams. Back up top to Meekin. Barada, guarded tightly by Haas. He had a nice athletic finish at the hoop towards the tail end of the third quarter. Now a near steal. Purcell comes away with it. Corner three. Good for Barada. Ice in his veins. That's his third three of the game. Cool as a cucumber on that shot. Luca Barada with a big shot. Haas for the answer. Too strong. Zeman from the corner. Yeah! Zeman is a killer on that three-point shot. It's his fourth of the game. Dalton Zeman with a career night. Four triples, keeping Tennant in the ball game. Ball loose yeah. and taken away by Tennant. Great dive there by Scheller to get the ball. And there's another shot. No good. That would have brought the house down. Six-point game, 418 remaining. And another timeout taken by Council Rock South. Starting to sweat here in the fourth. William Tennant putting on the pressure. Both of these teams once again fighting for a playoff position. And well, here's another look here's at the, the shot three. by Zeman. Look at this. Ooh, man, he is very, very smooth on that shot. And how quick is the release? Catches very it quick. and immediately fires. He's got perfect form, too. I mean, he starts the ball at the right place. Everything is good. Here we go again. Let's see it. Watch his shot. If you want to learn how to shoot a basketball, there it is. Perfect footwork. Got behind the three-point line squared. with that left foot. Yep, squared his body. He had rhythm in the shot. He had everything just right. It's a nice stroke and a beautiful release. Both hands are in the right spot. I mean, if you watch shooters, we were watching the Sixers the other day, and, uh, you know, I'm watching some of them. Well, take Ben Simmons, for example. <laughs> I mean, uh, or Horford, for that, for that matter. Al Horford does not shoot correctly. When you watch his three-point shot, I mean, I don't know how many of our viewers watch the pro basketball, but he's got his hand in front of the ball. It's like he's blocking his own shot. You didn't see that when Zeman just shot it. His guide hand is in the right place, and he lets it go at the right time, and that's how you shoot a basketball. That's why he's got four threes, and he might have six or seven if those others had hit in the first half. He could have been on a big-time showcase moment here. Zeman has his shot working for him here tonight. Lead down to six for Council Rock South oh, as this floater yeah. is swatted by Consenza. Meekum can't answer. Consenza with a monster block. Great they fired block. up the crowd. Tennant with a chance to cut this lead down to at least four. Panthers with a lot of fight left in them in this game. Zeman again! He's unconscious. That is his fifth three. He's Dal got 15. Dalton Zeman, the ATM, automatic three-point machine here that? tonight. Very good, yep. That describes it perfectly. He's in a zone and he knows it. That rim is as big as an ocean right now. Near steal, Stewart, too strong. Fight for the board, out of bounds. Possession to Tennant. That's real nice work there by number 20, Sean Hawes. Here's another look at that Zeman three. There he goes again, bang. The Zeman special. Now a near steal. Oh, he's out of bounds. Out of bounds. Oh, he and missed it. Yep. Revolts can't touch it, so it's possession back to Tennant. You can step out of bounds and come back in, but not during a dribble. Right. So if it is a dribble and you step out, it doesn't matter whether you're touching the ball or anything like that, you are out. Tennant down by three. It's a one possession ball game with three minutes remaining in regulation. Dalton Zeman with a big second half tonight. Three triples in the second half. Baseline layup. Can't get the bounce. Fight for the board is won by Council Rock South. Cosenza almost had that rebound in his hands. It's a three-point game. We're going down to the wire here today. Rebels oh. somehow fights it through. Three That's, defenders in the lane, he found the hole. That is his move. Once again, a very 
tough, assertive player going to the hoop. Jack Rebholtz. Great first name, too. Jack. Tenet down by five. And you're only saying that because that's your first that's name. That's my first name, yeah. <laughs> Good to see kids being named Jack. <laughs> Consenza. Oh, yeah. oh, he's there. With the putback. The big man with the putback in the right place. He followed his shot beautifully, and he got the basket, and we have a three-point game. Timeout taken by William Tennant with 2.04 remaining in regulation. One more look at this strong take to the rack by Jack Rebholz. Look how tough he is. He doesn't care who's in his way. And I'll tell you something. If I was... Uh, because sends it there. I would not stand straight up and down. I would go after him, knowing what he's been doing this whole game. He's made that same move four, five, six times. Go after him. Don't try to take that charge. He's not going to give it to you. Well, Consenza went after Council Rock South on the offensive end with this strong there take. He is right Gets there. his own putback. Clearly the strongest man on this court, strongest young man on this court, and he used his strength to his advantage to get that offensive board and put it right in, put his body in the perfect position. So with a, with two minutes and four seconds remaining here in the fourth quarter, what's the conversation in both huddles right now, Jack Cap? Council Rock, South, up by three. They'll have possession of the ball. What are they talking about right now? Well, they're going to take some air out of the ball. I don't think there's any question about it. Although if they do get something, they're not stalling, but they're just going to try to knock some time off the clock at 2.0. I think it's 2.04 we have left. Right, 2.04. So it looks like they probably will do that. And on the other end for Tenet, down we three. We shall see. Full pressure here. Backcourt pressure. Full court. It's a man-to-man -man full court press. Now they back off. Just a little bit of pressure there on the inbound. A buck 57 to go in regulation. Let's see if they go to the weave. They do. Stewart guarded tightly by Zeman. Stewart to the oh, baseline. Yeah. Well, McNamee finishes it. Yeah, they took some time off, but they saw the open man, and that's the right thing to do. The bounce pass underutilized in this game of high school basketball, but they did it right there. Consenza up top. Stanfeld. No good. Hoss with the board. Mm. Short on the putback. Stanfeld hauls it in. Hoss working hard. Into the lane. Good oh. feed. What a pass, though. What a beautiful pass by Stanfield for that bucket. And consensus signs for the delivery. Yes, sir. Kids these days don't even know what that means. <laughs> As Consenza dives for the loose ball. And a timeout taken by William Tennant. Smart move by head coach Robert Mulville. Yes, it as is. As he sends Consenza with the pressure around him, calls the timeout. Here's that great pass, wraparound pass, and right to the big man for the layup. And we are at a break here with under a minute to go in a three-point game. And here's the yeah, feed there from Perfect Stewart to McNamee. Love a bounce pass. We've seen that yep. four or five times tonight from yeah. Council Rock South. And by the way, anybody who saw a big man sends a sliding on the floor there with possession of the ball, that is not traveling. If your momentum takes you into a slide, it is not traveling, was not called traveling accurately by our very seasoned and efficient referees crew here. They've been really sharp today. I don't want to jinx them, but they've been very sharp. Just over a minute remaining in regulation, a minute two to go. Tenant with the ball, down three. Do you go for the three right away? No. Yeah, I think you just got to take the easiest no, shot here. No, absolutely not. Yep. If it's there, I mean, look, if, uh, if Zeman gets an opportunity, I say yes, but you're not. I don't think you design your offense to take the three here by any stretch. Man to man. Stanfield kicks. Hoss over to Casenza. Being very patient. Stanfield. Now Consenza thought about the three. 37 seconds to yeah. play and another timeout by William Tennant. Yeah, Robert Mobile did not like what he saw there. The offense was not moving and you don't want, really don't want to go under 30, maybe 25 seconds before you really generate something, some type of a shot because then you're putting yourself in a position where if you miss that shot, you're down three. Now you got to take the foul and you take the chance of going down by four or five. So you got to be very careful here. You got to generate a quick move to the basket or possibly uh, set 
a screen for someone for a, uh, uh, an outside shot. Well, that possession took 28 seconds it's off too long. the game clock. So, it's too long. You know, I know we were talking about, do you go for the three? And I, well, now with 36.6 to go in regulation, well, you're not there yet, but you have to start yeah, thinking about it. I still say you go to the hoop now because in situations like this, you know, the defensive team with the lead, uh, they they don't want to commit that foul on that penetration because then it could be a, you know an and one situation. So you you have a little bit more freedom to get to the basket than you normally would in this particular situation. So we'll see what Coach Moville Moville comes up with. He's a I'm sure he's a much smarter coach than I was. I was always an assistant. <laughs> I never head coached the high school team, but I used to say a lot in the huddle though. Hey, somebody's got it. <laughs> Sometimes, Believe me, Jack Cap, I, I know I, you said a lot. Well, just, because, I mean, you know, a lot of times our head coach didn't, you know, really have a lot to say end of game situations. Here we go. Stanfield to get it in. There's Hoff. Yeah, got to get it moving. Got to get it moving here. Less than 30 remaining. Consenza to Zeman. He was fouled. Fouled, he'll go to the line. Boy, Through the contact from McNamee. You know what else he can do? He can get off the ground. I didn't notice that before, but he's a small guy. Yeah, I, I thought mean, for uh, sure that shot was going to get blocked, but he hung so long he was able to draw the contact. Very nice play by him, and I'll bet he's a good free throw shooter. We haven't seen him yet. There he goes. Look at that. Off the ground. Boom. Yeah. He's having a very, very nice game, and he has brought the Panthers within two as close as they have been. Dalton Zeman with 16 points to lead all scorers. Mm. 11 here in the second half, up to 17 now on the game for Zeman. Timeout on the floor. And what's the conversation for Council Rock South as well, they have seen a 10 point lead dwindle to one? So here's what I would do. I, first of all, you got to get the ball in cleanly. So you got, there's going to be backcourt pressure, I would think. So you have to set up you know, a clean inbounding play. I'm not sure how many timeouts they have left. They got to be careful not to, you know, violate the five second rule on the inbound. Once you get the ball inbounds, you really need to get some time off the clock before that foul is taken. Okay, and the only way they're going to take a shot if it's a, if it's a clean bounce pass for a layup or maybe something over the top. But they, you know, they're going to try to get the foul. Well, it's interesting to know. And here's the problem for Tenant. You want to play the foul game here, but you only have one team foul. So you've got to foul oh, I didn't Council Rock that. South oh, I didn't six times that. just to put them on the line. Well, that's, I hate to say it, but that's something that really should not have occurred here. I mean, if you have any chance, you really, now, I didn't realize it when I started my uh, analysis a moment ago, but that kind of changes things. In, in this case, Tennant needs to take a foul, a bunch of fouls, like right away, and they can't be intentional. Because this crew will catch you on the intentional foul. Yep, and a there's foul one immediately by Brett Hansen so in the corner. We lost under a second there, I believe. Yeah, you need to have four or five fouls on the books in a, in a, if you intend to be in a close game. And now they are. You need to go for the steal. That's it. That's the way it's done. Right there, exactly, perfectly right. And that's by. Brett Hansons, who was wearing number five today. That's his second foul in a row, second in the game for him. We'll see how much time before they can put them on the line. Oh, Hansons with three consecutive fouls. Yeah. Well, that's okay. Somebody's got to take these fouls, and wherever the ball goes, you must go, you must go after the ball. Once again, you cannot just shove from behind or grab, or it will be called intentional. Now that, that was a clean look there. And now a late foul is called. Yeah. Hansen picks it up again. Now that time Hansen did not go for the ball. However, he made it look like he was going for it. So now those four fouls have brought them up to, to five. Yeah, five team fouls now. And they need to take one more. 17 on the clock. Yeah, CRS was able to waste some time. Down to 16.4, and now the next one. Now this this situation is slightly different. Now you need to go very hard for the steal. You don't want to make it a deliberate foul, in my opinion. You still have 16.4 left. You don't want it to get under 10. Well, they take the, they take it right there. 
And they caught a break because Zeman yeah. tripped and Rebolds was alone I on the other side that. of the floor. Yeah. Yeah. But the impounder, I don't Michael Stewart, didn't see it and Stewart, threw it to a man right in yeah. front of him. Stewart didn't react to that immediately, and the clock on that inbounding throw-in was ticking. So to the line goes Luke Meekum. He's one for two today. He'll be shooting in one and one. Crowd into it here for William Tennant. Kind roll on the first. Meekum gets his team a two-point lead. 15.8 left in this game. Josiah Johnson onto the floor for Tennant. He replaces Michael Scheller. This is a big free throw, and the Panthers need to box out properly. They cannot allow a missed free throw to go to the visitors. Oh, yeah. Pure. And now, after the make, Meekum goes to the bench for an offense defense. Well, excuse me, he'll stay in. They take McNamee out. Now, if you can get the ball up court quick, you go for the quick two and then take another quick foul. Joe you Purcell. gotta move faster than that. Purcell in for Council Rock. You gotta move faster than that. 10 seconds on the clock. Zeman, step back. Oh. Can't get the roll. Consenza up top. Stanfield, no good. Fight for the board and the clock expires. On the jump ball. They went for the three, Chris. I don't think they should have. Zeman got a good look. It rattled around the rim and out. And William Tennant falls short. Council Rock South holds on for a narrow 52-49 victory. When I say I don't think they should have, I mean, that's a, a coach's choice, a team's choice, you know, to go for the three. They do have that great three-point shooter who has demonstrated it the whole night here, Dalton Zeman. However, I mean, I thought they had enough time where they could have driven in and, and they, were, they took too much time initially, in my opinion. But that's how it ends, a three-point game. Very exciting night here. Oh, that was a fun game. It always seems that these uh, SFBN classics end with a, an exciting fourth quarter, and this one definitely did. Uh, CRS pulls it out, 52-49. to 49. Now, a great game for Zeman. I mean, uh, those lefty three-pointers were just very, very exciting. He hit five of them, and it's probably, I haven't seen his whole career, but it's probably the best game of his career, considering he was averaging just over five points a game coming into this contest. Not a lot of fouls in this game, and that became a factor late in the game when um, William Tennant had to take six consecutive fouls and take time off the clock when they were down by one point right at the end of the game. So it was 24 seconds left when they started taking the fouls and 15.8 when they finally sent... Uh, Counts Rock South Meekum to the line. Meekum did hit both, made it a 52 to 49 game, which was our ending score. Now, uh, Tennant had a chance there at the end, but took a lot of time bringing the ball up court and chose to go with a, a very difficult fall away three. It was really the only shot they could get at that point, again by uh, by Zeman and. Um, he had been hot, so they went to him. He took the fall away. It looked like it had a chance. It was seven seconds when he shot that ball. So 15.8 minus seven is about 8.8 .8 seconds it took to get that shot off. They took another shot at around four seconds. A three-pointer did not land, and that was the end of the game. I thought they should have gone for a two, possibly, but they chose to go for the three. Once again, the fact that they did not have... Uh, five or six fouls on the board, forced them to waste time at the end of the game. Also, there was a, a little bit um, of a uh, confusion right before that. Uh, with 102 left in the game, CRS went to a timeout, Castle Rock South, and came out in a man. Now, they had been playing a very successful zone the majority of this game. It, did conf it seemed to confuse uh, the Panthers, and they had to call a timeout at 36.6. So they took 28 seconds off the clock at that point. Zeman got fouled and did hit his two shots. But uh, that's how it turns out. 52-49, to 49, a final. And uh, both teams had a few games left at the end of the season. They both had one in the regular season. Council Rock South beat Council Rock North and then won a big game over Abington, losing to Methacton and North Penn to close out this season. William Tennant uh, went... Um, 
one and two at the end there. They beat Truman and lost to CB East, and that was the end of the season for both of these teams. And I uh, hope you enjoyed that game. We'll be back with another one uh, next week. Jack Cap signing off. And a final is 52-49. The Panthers of Council Rock South improved to 13-7 and on the year. Two games in a row now that they have won. William Tennant falls to 11-10 and on a four-game losing streak. Mm. And all four of those losses have by, been by one possession. Yeah, so I mean, a real close. tough skid for yeah. William Tennant High School. Well, that's going to do it for us. Final score once again, Council Rock South 52, William Tennant 49 for our crew here. At the Sports Fan Base Network, Josh Bellman, my producer, Tenzin Samfell, our cameraman, Jack Cat, my partner. I'm Chris Markowitz saying so long and good night from William Tennant High School. Thank you for watching this edition of SFBN Classics. We hope you enjoyed that game. Please like our Facebook page and also follow us on Instagram and Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube page. And for more information about us, go to www.thesfbn.com. I'm Ari Bluestein. Have a good night.